in. And Patching goes quickly towards Makalini. Morton touched that from Cleary. Good thinking from Will Patching and Patrick McElhinney. Here it's back with McJanet. Swings one in around the back and a chance for Connolly, who stayed forward here, hooks it back inside and the lead goal for Derry City. Well, the early pressure pays off and Jamie McGonagall brings to an end a 15-game goal drought with the breakthrough goal here. Yeah, it's poor defensively again for Roberts to get caught out with that back post like they did earlier on with the Dunnigan uh, chance. Paul has got them out of that one, but this time they can't work it out. Poor defending from Roberts. Good start from Derry. Game's been fairly scrappy, but they won't mind. See you here, it's just a, a ball to the back post again. No one picking up at the back post. Free player, just Conley just pops it back into the box. McGonagall, as he is a striker in the six yard box, Conley does really well because his first touch not as great, but he just stands it back up at the back post, middle of the area, and he just comes in. Good header on the ball into the corner. Great start for Dirty City. Gannon recovers to get goal side. McGonagall looking for Duffy, tracked by Ferruja. Doing well, Michael Duffy to get it back to his number nine. Dumbigan stepping in and having a goal! Well, he's got a couple of goals this season, including an absolute cracker against St. Pat's. This was almost another for Cameron Dumbigan. Yeah, it's great play. It's a great pick out as well. His force touch is brilliant and it's up on the volley. And he just side foot and trying to side foot and bender at the same time. It's brilliant technique and he's very unlucky. Because it is dipping, but it doesn't dip blowing up below the crossbar. Hits the crossbar. Great effort from Dunnigan. Good play from Dirty City. Derry City coming into this one by my count about eight and a half hours since last conceding a goal. They might be in for another one at the other end. There's contact penalty. Patrick McElhenney upended by Lee Grace and it's a red card. Big, big moment in the game this one. It's just a long ball, catches Rovers out. And again, it's that bounce on the pitch as well. He's saying it, he's, he's L arm to arm. You see here's a long ball from Mark Mar gets between the Rovers centre half, just gets across to McElhenney. Oh. You see here we get a better view over here. I think that's I think that's harsh. There's a coming together of players. Is there any real movement forward or push or trip? I'm not too sure there is. Well, this is a huge moment in this quarter final. Patching with that short run up again. Oh, off the bar and over. Lightning has struck twice for Will Patching from the penalty spot against Shamrock Rovers. Yeah, he does a little check, doesn't he? I hate to see that with a player, and he scoops her up onto the crossbar. Keeper's gone the wrong way, but that little check slows down his run, gets under the ball, trying to just curl her into that top corner. Doesn't get under it too much. Scoops it over the bar, Rover's about to make a change. Yeah, he's seen the gap open up, and he stepped into that. You're just looking at Rovers, and Jack Bourne is the one that's playing behind Gaffney, but at the moment, he's probably the deepest midfielder they have at times. I know he's trying to get the game started. Ferruja, oh he's done brilliantly here, he's left two in his way, can he pick someone out, he can, the save, Gaffney on the follow up, 1-1, Shamrock Rovers with the equaliser, outstanding work by Neil Ferruja, and it broke to the right man, well they've had some trials and tribulations, some tough times in this game here this evening, but they've hung on in there the 10 men of Shamrock Rovers, and they've got their reward, oh it's a great goal, it's a brilliant play from Ferruja, I was giving out about Jack Bourne, but what he did, he created an over and over on this left-hand side of the pitch, and Ferruja does really well, sees the gap and drives into it, but he, what he does really well is the awareness to pick out a pass, and he picks out a great pass. It's a good save the goalkeeper, but Gaffney's the one in the penalty spot a bit, again, a bit like, or in the penalty box, a bit like McGonagall. It's a pullback, Andy Lyons is the shot, keeper parries it out, maybe he can knock it out a little bit wider, knocks it straight into Gaffney. Yeah, it's really minds as well, isn't it? The legs go, but the head goes a little bit as well, and you just switch off. Lots of substitutions, and the matchup still right. Dangerous ball around the back, and there's the goal. Derry City back in front. What a moment, it's Danny Lafferty. Well, one of the hometown boys with the goal, he goes to celebrate with the hometown fans. Great delivery. Eyes on it all the way, and met it with a meaty header. No chance for Bowles. Derry 2-1. Yeah, I'm not sure they can see it again. I think the keeper may come for this, and he gets caught. It's a good ball in again. He comes across and doesn't get anywhere near that. And Lafferty, it's a brilliant header as well. Maybe he can come a little bit further and try to be competitive, but he doesn't. Lafferty's standing in the six-yard box. 
and he barely it's a bull ahead of but he's only two or three yards out there's no stopping that at all and his distribution lands it right on the chest of Boyce Akintunde and it's on down the right hand side Kavanagh dancing into the penalty area yet to score for Derry City his first goal for Derry City is the goal that more than likely buries the hopes of his former club Shamrock Rovers yeah, they say he was lively just before that. He won the free kick, but it's a great finish. And he shows brilliant pace, but so calm as well. Like you say, ex Shamrock Rovers players, that's two. Lafferty won. Pavney this time puts in the tour goal, and that should be it for Daly City. But it's a really good finish from Brandon Cavanagh. It's a really good goal. You see the build up play here. Akintoni does really well, rolls him. And Cavanagh takes the ground, and the fullback gets across. And then he's into that box. Once he gets and takes his ground, there's no sound. Brilliant from Akintoni. Reverse pass. And he goes across, takes Cavanagh's ground as well. And he's in there. He's only one thing on his mind. He's going to hit the target here. And he hits the target. And it's a really good finish. He's brave. And he has belief in himself. He's a really good player, Brandon. He's probably lost his way a little bit this season. Yeah, I was talking to Rudy before him about the game, he said he's just gone out to boil a little bit. What a way to answer the manager, but that's the bit you need to say, right? Well, I've gone out to boil, I'm coming back in. He's got to trick it over the line and that, and there he'll chase them all the way to the end of that. Whistle in the mouth of the referee, we're almost there. The ball in the hands of Brian Marr. And that is it, it's all over. And listen to the noise around the Ryan McBride Brandywell. Derry City have beaten Shamrock Rovers. This amazing run of theirs continues. They advance into the semi-finals where they will be paired with either Sweetie United, Waterford or Shelburne winners earlier today against Bohemians.